Hey everybody, how's it going? Timeister here, and welcome back to Bixton. Today's episode is going to take place in Quincy Harbor yet again, and I'm going to work on an expansion project. So, you can see over here that I've laid out a bunch of streets, and again, I'm trying to follow that New England theme that the town is known for. You know, so not like perfect grids all over. You can see that they're kind of all lopsided and follow the terrain somewhat. Um, so I built out these streets off camera and I'm going to be filling in these spaces this episode. But I'm also going to spend some time working outside of the city on some farmland that is going to be placed over here. Uh, so let's start in the town for now. And I'm basically going to spend the first part of this episode zoning. Except for this like this large square here. I have a plan for what's going to take place here. Uh, but... Without further ado, let's jump right into the zoning portion of this episode, and then I'll get into that a little bit later. So I'm going to start with this little commercial area, right, kind of in the middle of town. Oh, oh okay, I think we just crossed over into winter. Yeah, it's December now, so the, the LUT is a bit different. There, so I'm just gonna plop some shops all along this stretch of road. This is sort of gonna be like, you know, a little commercial area right in the middle of town. Maybe we'll find a couple of office buildings as well. And then we'll get into the residential. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for a European theme. I think the houses fit a little better, oddly enough, in this situation. I don't know. I kind of prefer the European models of houses in the game. But yeah, I'm sure you all agree that there needs to be more house models different house models in the game because there's not a whole lot out of the box all the houses tend to look very similar And then I suppose I'll plop down the odd apartment building as well. Maybe along some of these smaller zones. That would look cool. And... Let's continue here. Oh wow, I'm actually making a dent in the residential demand. Which is pretty good. And then I got all of this zone over here there and there's this big chunk of land here I was thinking of building a little nature park or something in here I'm not really sure yet but I'm just gonna leave this land empty for now and I'll decide a little later on what I'm going to do here. But a, a big nature park right in the middle of town is going to look nice. Um, so I guess <laughs> you were probably thinking a nature park was going to go in here. Uh, well, not necessarily. But I guess this is the time in the video where I'm going to get into this since we got everything zoned. So as everything is building up, let's work on what's going to happen here. So um, if we look at our terrain, you can see that... Like, right over here is pretty much the top of the map, right? It's kind of on top of a hill overlooking the rest of town. It's very, like, smooth and, and like, subtle slope, so you don't really notice it that much. But um, I felt like this area over here would be a perfect location for a cemetery. Um, so you're probably thinking, well, why are you plopping a cemetery? Because there's already one downtown. Um, well, I just thought it would look cool. But also... I can say that this episode is kind of like a preparation episode for a big project that's coming up. I can't really speak too much about that right now, uh, but 
yeah so so just keep that in mind i'm working on something on the side here for the city um so yeah this is going to be the cemetery and i think i may as well place down some upgrades because i have some spare room this is going to be the first cemetery in the entire city to have some upgrades because i didn't provide enough room for all the others so i guess i'll plop down what was this anyway a temple Plus two well-being within 300 meters. So I guess right here is okay. A columbrium? A column? A columbarium. What is this anyway? A set of walls for storing the cremated room. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, I know what these are. Um, I guess I'll plop it... right here and then last but not least we got a mausoleum uh, this doesn't really provide any benefits except attractiveness plus 20 I guess I'll just put this like right in the middle like this there so there we have it our fully upgraded cemetery so we have tons and tons of room for the dead <laughs> in the whole region now um, I guess for these empty spots here I could could detail them a little bit, so let's do that. I'm gonna build some paths here. Actually, what about like a big old parking lot? Maybe like over here in this corner. Oh, look at that, it fits perfectly. Yeah, I'll do that. So this will be like the mausoleum parking and then the rest will be over here. So let's just, let's put some paths down. Oh, it's like trying to connect. Okay, yeah, that looks nice. There. Actually, you may as well like do this in the back of the mausoleum. There we go. That looks great. And then maybe I can just add a couple trees here and there. I'm not gonna like fill in the whole empty area with trees, but maybe just dot a couple around. And then these will grow up to be like huge mature trees at some point. It'll look nice. There. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I had planned for this area. Nothing too extravagant, but uh, like I said, it's kind of like a precursor for what's to come here pretty soon. Oh yeah, I wanted to fill in this zone, but unfortunately they weren't lining up. So if I do this, that should give me enough room there. All right, everything's built up. Holy crap, guys, we're almost at 100,000 people. Just under 15,000 more to go, which is really not that much in this game. All right, so I think we've expanded a fair bit. Um, actually, you know, I, sh I should take a second to talk about talk about a little bit of off-camera expansion that I did. Uh, so I built this over here. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I just built a little industrial zone, and um, I put a cargo train terminal here just to connect up to the train lines, just to, uh, to provide some extra storage, I guess, for materials that are imported and exported from here. And then I also built a recycling center. Um, just to, you know, provide some extra garbage handling services over here because, like, the other recycling center is, like, way over here in Bixton. So it's quite a drive for trucks to go back and forth. So I just felt like it would be better to build it here. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there we are. So let's go work on this little chunk of land over here because it's got some interesting natural resources. We got a ton of fertile land here. So, of course, I'm going to want to tap into that. 
So let's get started. I'm going to build a road that more or less follows the coast, but not really. Actually, you know what? It would look cool if this road kind of weaved in and out of these little inlets like this. And we'll have it go off in that direction. There, so we're right at the edge of the map now. All right, so let's finally get into our farming. Specialized industry. Start with a grain farm. And I'm gonna plop it right along. Yeah, I guess I'll plop it along here. And then I'm going to go in a rectangular fashion just like this. Right up to the side of the road. There we go. And let's alternate. It's going to do some vegetable farms next. As I'm farming away here, I got an idea. Sometimes in between farmland, you have these little random subdivisions that kind of spawn up every once in a while. So of course I don't want to take up any of the fertile lands. So what I'll do is I'm going to build this road here, Linden Road, and then let's have some vegetable, vegetable farms. Kind of like that, and then over here, just because the land is not really fertile anymore, I'm going to build a little subdivision. Kind of like this. And then what I'll do is I can build some livestock farms around this neighborhood if I can get it to fit. Uh, let's see, can I get this to be perfectly on this corner? Yes, looks like I can. So then I'll make this like a weird lopsided farm just like this right through everybody's backyards. There.
Do these need... Yeah, okay, so these... The textile fiber farming needs to be on fertile land. So I got a little bit left over here, so I may as well plop at least one farm. And you know, I'm going to make some room for some housing over here, just like this. There, and then maybe just plop a couple of houses in between, just like this. Oh shoot, is that? What is this? Oh crap, oops, I put the wrong type of farm, okay. I'm gonna bulldoze this. Textile fibers. Actually, you know what? I may as well just bring this right up to this avenue because there's still like just a tiny little bit of fertile lands up this way. May as well just make it a part of the farm. There. That is wonderful. Okay. Let's keep going here with some livestock farms. here. Is this a dirt road? Yeah, it is a dirt road. So I'm going to convert this into a pavement road up until right over here. And then I'm going to have another little subdivision right over here. And then I'm going to surround that little subdivision with some more livestock. Oh, well, I don't know. Over here, this hill is a little steep. It's not really playing nicely with the farmland. Maybe if I just plop it, I'll plop the home base over here. Uh, yeah, it still kind of has the same problem. Oh, well, whatever. It's not, it's not too bad. Oh, well, I guess I got to readjust it now. Hang on. Or maybe I'll try it over here. Uh, it's just as bad there. Anyway, whatever. There, so let's do like this. Like this. There we go. Look at that, guys. We got a lot of farming going on over here. Whole farming community. Oh, yeah. We still got some fertile lands over here by the water. So let's do some more vegetable farms. I'm not even really looking at what's in demand or like what uh, what I should be farming, but either or, I mean, even if the city is not using everything that I'm producing, it'll just be exported for profit anyways. There, so let's do this. Connect this up. And then I think I'll just build a couple more farms over here and then that'll be it. We got some forestry over here. Not enough to really like excavate though, but there just won't be any farms over there. A little tiny bit of fertile farms. Maybe I can just do some wheat. Oh, 
There. And one more for good measure, right over here. I'm just gonna do like a straight up farm, just like this. And every now and again, I'm just gonna plop down some random houses just to fill in the area a bit more. Yeah, I think that's good. A couple more houses over here. And then over here, maybe I'll have like a little store or something. Hopefully like a gas station or something spawns here. That would be pretty cool. Alright, and there we have it, guys. There's a few houses here and there still under construction, so I'll just speed up the game speed. And in the meantime, why don't I go ahead and start planting some trees? Because once these trees grow up, it's going to look really cool over here. So I'll do a random mixture of trees, like some linden trees, maybe. Which I don't even know what they look like when they're all grown up. Some hickory. I didn't even know there were some apple trees, I think. Oh, it's probably because I was in the North American theme, is it? Well, that's cool. That means that we can build an orchard. Well, why don't we do that? Let's build an orchard. But where is the question? I guess over here, maybe? But that's like right, in, right against the edge of the map. Actually, you know, over here would be pretty cool. I'm going to build an orchard over here, guys. Let's do that. So, bear with me for a moment while I get rid of all of these trees, and then I'm going to build an orchard over here. Alright, so I pretty much got all the main stuff I wanted to cover this episode complete. However, now I'm going to get into probably the most important thing about this episode. Um, so I just crossed over into level 16 prior to this episode, leaving me with 35 points. Oh my god, guys, I gotta spend some of these. But more importantly, um, I have 35 map tiles ready for purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase all of these. And I can connect my waterways up to these two ports over here and while i'm at it i might as well just buy all these tiles as well unlocking this entire corner of the map and let me just take a look here at my shipping routes i probably want to buy some of these tiles as well i guess just in case hmm but it's only gonna leave me with like 15 tiles maybe with 10 tiles if i purchase these I guess I'll just buy these two for now, leaving me with 13 tiles because I'm going to want to like purchase some over here pretty soon, some over here probably. So I don't want to go too crazy with the spending of those. Maybe I shouldn't have bought like all these, <laughs> but it's fine. All right. So now let's go into my water transportation. Um, would these be medium? Yep. Looks like they are. 
So let's merge these into no water. What the heck? Oh, there's a little tiny island here. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to dodge this. Just like this. And then uh, we'll make our way over here. Boop. To the main corridor. And then let's do the same thing with this shipping route. Connect it up just like that. Oh, it looks like these are like small shipping routes. I don't, I still don't understand like what the shipping route sizes do. Cause like, it looks like even a small shipping route is plenty of room for, for two massive cargo ships to go by each other. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, look, everything is hooked up now so we can finally start importing and exporting goods. Very exciting. Well, I was about to end this episode and then I saw this. Um, so usually this, these types of traffic jams can be temporary. Sometimes it's just uh, a result of like a ton of people moving into your city at once. In this case, the traffic is flowing out of the city, so I'm not really sure why. But anyways, uh, but it gave me the idea. I think Quincy Harbor is big enough at this point to warrant a public transportation network. Albeit not a huge one, but still, I think, I think we could start to have a public transportation network and I had the idea of putting a tram system in town with this being a historical city I think it just makes sense and why am I losing a ton of money uh hang on it's probably taxation probably in commercial somewhere yeah oh it's industrial what's making us lose a ton of money beverages oh Okay, I think there was a glitch at some point because I, I needed to lower this tax rate in order to generate income and now I need to raise it again. I think it's just a bug. No big deal. And we're back to making a ton of money. Oh my God, look at <laughs> look at this chart. That's crazy. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's let's get some public transportation down over here in Quincy Harbor. In order to get a tram system down, I'm going to need to plop down a tram depot. And I don't necessarily want to plop it on the outskirts of town. I'd really like, I'd really like to concentrate the tram system to the downtown area over here on the peninsula. So what I'm going to have to do is to sacrifice a neighborhood in order to place down the depot. And the one I've chosen is over here. So this should be fairly quick. I just need to remove a couple of streets. And then I will go ahead and plop down a tram depot, which fits perfectly within this neighborhood right in the middle here. So it's honestly not going to cause too much damage. I might just have to clean up some of the mess here. Maybe rezone a couple buildings. Yeah, like some of these buildings. This zone here, and then I'm going to replace that with a store over here as well. Some shopping opportunities. There. All right. So we got our depot. What kind of upgrades can I do to this depot? Space for more trams. And okay, so it's, it's actually like an add-on within the original lot. I don't think I need it right now because it's not going to be a very big system. So let's go ahead and do this. This is my first, my very first experience with trams, so I'm honestly not too, uh, not too experienced with this, but it looks like I can convert this avenue into a tram road, which, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it go downtown this way. And then I'll make it go along this main road here. It's nice that I can keep the trees too. All right, and this brings us into the downtown corridor. So let's, let's kind of review this, how I'm gonna make this happen. I think I'm gonna make a loop for the tram system. So let's go down Main Street. I guess this is Main Street. 
and then along the water just like this and then back up this way to the park and then we'll have it loop back on itself so that i guess that'll be like loop number one and then loop number two we can have it go through like this part of town because this is kind of like its own little town i guess it's like a another little mini downtown it's still part of the the quincy harbor town but i don't know i, I like there to be like a, a mini downtown here so let's have let's have another loop going through here kind of just following the coast and then I'll have it come up here to join. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll have it cross through this intersection. Oh, I got a one way here, so I got to be careful. So I want the trams to come back down this way. And then I guess we could make both lines intersect like that it'll allow passengers to uh, to transfer onto a different line yeah i think that's i think that's what i'll do so let's start with that now let's plop down some stops starting with over here by the school and then let's have one or a couple downtown oh what's going on here why is this not connected there must be like a little tiny segment or something that's just there. So another tram stop over here by this park. And then a couple here. Oh, we got another little section here that wasn't connected. Oh, what's going on here? Why? Oh, that's interesting. All right, so... Oh, that's right! That's right, yeah. So these stops here are right in the median. I think it's because it's an avenue. What What if I convert this into uh, maybe just a regular four-lane road? How's that going to work? Or at the same time, it's it is pretty cool. Wait a second. Actually, I'm going to convert this into a four-lane road. And then I will move this stop. Uh, can I do that? Yes. I will move it over here. Yeah, I guess that's all right. And I'm just going to add a little bit of greenery here. Some trees. And let's continue on. There, I think that's good. So now let's loop back. Because this line is kind of like half point to point, half loop, I suppose. So yeah, then this loop will kind of go like this and then go back on itself. And then this loop will go like this. Or should I just make it? Yeah, okay, no. So this line is going to be a singular loop. And then this second loop will be kind of like a double loop, meaning that there's going to be trams going in either direction. Here, let's do that. So for every stop that I'm going to put here, I'm actually going to put two. Here, and actually I'll put a stop here so then people can transfer. And then I'll make sure to put a stop over here near the um, train station. Oh, what do we have here? Uh oh, is this not going to work? <gasps> This might not work. Oh, shoot. It looks like I can't have a double tram track. 
What do I do in this case? Oh, I know what I do. I do this. So I'll just have a track going in this direction. And then I'll just convert this into a single one way. Oh, wait a minute. That that's not going to work. Why not? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that's not going to work out the way I expected it. Oh, okay. Hang on. Huh, it's not allowing me to change the direction. Oh, wait a minute. There. All right. I got it figured out. Okay. I understand now. Perfect. So I made a little loop and then what about this track? What kind? Okay. I know what's going to have to happen here. So I'm going to remove this track. So this will be a singular track, but then I'm going to do this and I'll remove this track there. Okay. It makes sense now. So what I'll do is add a stop right here by the water and then, oh, right. Yeah. So this is like this double loop, just like this. And then it comes back on itself. Okay. Ooh, that was a, a, a brain, brain aneurysm. There, so I'll add one more station here. All right, I think I got it figured out, guys. So let's do the tram line tool. We're gonna wanna start our tram lines. Or I guess we don't necessarily have to start them anywhere near the depot. The depot is just there for storing the trains. Yeah, really, we don't even need to have stops over here, but I think I'm gonna add some anyway. But what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna have to make like a loop. I think, or maybe, no, not even, not even. Okay, so let's start our very first loop. It's gonna go from here to over here. Oh, what's going on? Are we missing a segment? Nope, everything's there. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, it doesn't wanna connect. Why is that? All right, I think I figured it out. So I'm going to start over here back again. I think it's just like kind of buggy because you got to click right on the little stand pretty much to get it to work there. And I think you might have to give it a second as well to actually like path find. Yeah, I think that's that was the problem. Doot. Yeah, so it just takes a second. All right, so then I'll add a station here. And for whatever reason, only the tram seemed to do this. Yeah, okay. Oh, that one was pretty instant. You know what? Technically, these tracks, I only have to make them singular. Because this loop is only going in one direction. I think I'll change that. Make a little bit more sense. Oh. I missed that stop. Or no, I didn't. And yeah, okay. So I didn't even need to bring the trams back to over here. I, I literally could have just done like two loops, but it's okay. It's better to have more connectivity than is necessary. So I'm going to be careful here. I am going to, you know what? No, screw it. I'm just going to keep the two tracks. 
Even though there's a set of tracks that won't be used, it's fine. All right, so let's... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I think it probably just moved it. So I'm going to start a new track from here. Boop. Oh, I think I may have forgotten to add a stop there on the other line. I'll go ahead and fix it. There. So that one's complete. Now let's do the exact opposite in this direction. We'll add a stop here downtown. And then over here, which is still kind of downtown. This line is much shorter. Oh, wait a minute. I'm kind of lost. Where am I going? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. I'm getting lost in my own city. All right. And let's loop back. Just like this. Bam. All right. Now I'm just going to have to come over here and then... Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so my first first line turns down here. Wait a minute. What did I do here? Let me uh, let me change some colors. So I'm going to do like the first line is going to be the green. Oh. Okay, right, so I came down here. What I intended to do was to bring it down here. But that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, so one last thing I want to do here. I'm just going to manage my lines because uh, we already have 10 vehicles in use. You know what? Maybe I should go for the upgrade. There, so now we'll have 15 vehicles in our arsenal. Um, but let me go into my line overview. So, oh wow, we already have 84 passengers using the green line. I guess the purple line I'll keep as is because it's technically the same line just in reverse. Um, so I guess we'll just have to see over the next little bit how much these lines are going to be used. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because I'm curious and I bet you guys want to know as well. So let's give it a minute here to, uh, to get these lines up and running and I'll show you some numbers in just a sec all right so I've given it a few minutes guys this is what our numbers look like so the system is getting a fair bit of usage honestly um, but there's a little modification that I would like to make before ending this video I think these stations would be better suited if they were in front of the train station because um, there's no real like point of interest uh, over here so what I'm simply going to do is build a little loop in this direction but here I'm going to have to be careful because we got some one ways running through here. So I'm just going to do a simple little loop like this. And actually I'm going to remove. Yeah, I guess there's no point in me having a directional track here. Or I guess I could. So I'll have like a omnidirectional track going this way. Double track here. Double track here. And there we go. So then what I'll do is add, add a station here. I may as well just add one over here on this line. And then I will add a second one just here. And watch this. So this purple line will now go here. Uh, whoops, nope, not that one. Uh, hang on, undo that. Yeah, so this purple one will go here and then go here. Whereas the green line, if I can get a hold of it, uh, nope, not this one. Hang on. Well, actually, yeah, so both, both lines are going to come through here. Yeah, it just makes sense. So 
We'll do this. Boop. There. And then the green line as well. We'll come through here. And I'm just going to delete this section of track as a whole. No track connection. So I can't get rid of them? Yeah, I can. There. Well, okay, I guess not. All right, well, <laughs> that is what it is. Holy crap, look at all the people. Oh my god, I'm just ruining everybody's schedules today. Oh, this is why. So I gotta bulldoze these stations, and then I can go here and boop, remove this section of track. And there we go. Look at all these people. They're all migrating over to the new stations. Absolute madness over here. So obviously it just makes more sense to have tram stations near the train station. So taxis have easy access. Um, these people can like board the subway. We have a subway coming to here. So it's just a much better system. So uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so although whatever public transportation I've built today in Quincy Harbor is not going to do anything to alleviate this traffic, it's at least going to help a little tiny bit with the traffic in downtown. Not that there was any to, to really be concerned about. But anyways, at least it's there. It's kind of like a cool historic factor to have these tram lines running through the, the, the historic downtown of Quincy Harbor. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. I would have liked to add a bus network to the town as well, but the town is still going to expand a fair bit. I think I might wait a bit longer. I think I'm going to wait a bit longer. Maybe in another couple of episodes or so, we'll get into a bus network here. Maybe have like some inner city buses as well to uh, alleviate some of this traffic. Um, but yeah, that will do it for this episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching as usual. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like down below. Or I should say leave a comment down below, but also leave a like. And be sure to subscribe to the channel as well to get notified of future uploads. And with that, I will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.